Hey, this is going to be my review of WrestleMania, and more importantly, All Japan's Pro Wrestling Love Show. Pro Wrest Love. Okay, uh, we'll start with uh, the good show. I'm sorry, the uh, superior show. The All Japan show. Uh, I guess there's 8,000 spectators. This was um, right after the... Uh, I, I think 11, it's either 8 or 11 days after the uh, earthquakes and uh, tsunami in Japan. And uh, everyone was wearing like a uh, black armband and uh, commemoration. Obviously this turned a house that's normally packed with all Japan. Because all Japan packs them in even when the rest is not doing so great in Japan. Uh, yeah, the crowd was really enthusiastic though, so that was good. Uh, we'll get to the uh, opener. This was like a dark match. Um, Fuchi Masa uh, Masanabu and Miyamoto Kazushi versus Zodiac and Nakanawe Yasafumi. Uh, you know, it's a decent opener. Uh, Fuchi and Miyamoto came out to Danger Zone by Kenny Loggins, which alone should have declared them victors. But, you know, this isn't the uh, independent New Year's show, so. Uh, Fuji's about 115 years old now. <laughs> Somehow he pulls out the big scoop slam on a, a very large Zodiac. Uh, I think they may have had to revive him immediately following the match. Uh, did I mention that he's ancient? Alright. Um, then we got our first like, really exciting match tonight, uh, obviously, because it featured Kaz Hayashi and Kai versus. Yamato and Bushi, you know, this is just fun. Uh, it was very reminiscent of the great cruiserweight classics of WCW, uh, before Vince Russo, of course. Uh, all four men look great. It's really cool. Something you don't see anymore. Well, I think All Japan has like the cruiserweight, junior heavyweight style, like the best. They just don't have enough guys. They get more like guys in that style. <sighs> Forget it. They didn't have to do those matches. All right, anyway, we had a special six-man next. Vader, his son, Jesse White, and Hamaraito versus Taru, Rene Dupree, and Masada. Uh, it's just nostalgic. Uh, Ham that came out dressed as Vader, which actually annoyed me since Vader's like the best big man of all time, and Ham is a giant blimp-sized jabroni with a stupid mask trying to imitate Vader. Uh, it was not Ham time. It was Beta time. Uh, pathetically weak attempt at Bader Hammer, Bader Hammers by Hamlet. It just made him look like a total pussy, which he already is. Uh, Bader came in and showed him how it's really done. Uh, Bader's by far the best performer in this. Um, even despite his long ring absences, obviously his age. Alright, next we have the match of the night, I would say. Not easily the match of the night, but still the match of the night. But really good. Uh, it's for the All Asia Tag Team Championships, which are the best tag team championships in all Japan. The other ones, the, yeah. Okay, the champions, Sanada Saya and Soyu Minabu versus uh, Sekimoto Daisuke and Akabayashi Yuji from Big Japan. Uh, great fucking match. Um, yeah, it started out with the most intense color and elbow type you've ever seen in your life. Uh, Apparently these guys are a little intense. Uh, whew, shit, this match was good. Uh, it's just like, it's like classic. I think it was classic. Um, you had elements of like strong style, and even the European style. Briefly, uh, the American style, American strong style, as Taz used to call it, and you even got Lucha Libre in there. Um, just a gr dramatic, thrilling battle. Second row. Actually committed an outside splash, so that was pretty cool. It's definitely at the top of my shortlist match of the year candidates. Top five, maybe? Yeah. Maybe top three. But then we got a special singles match. Muto KG versus Hashimoto Daichi. Daichi uh, from Zero One. Uh, just good. I, I love the All Japan Zero One co promotion. I guess Noah and New Japan are getting into this because of the disasters. They want to do like a charity show. I think uh, Japan, they need to work together, all the promotions, all the good ones anyway. Uh, DET needs to get that too. I think it'll just make the business better, stronger. Uh, it's a basic match, but hey, you know, Junior Hashimoto's just starting out, right? 
All right, then we got a match that should have been very good, but it was a little odd. Uh, special tag team match, Funaki Masakatsu and Suzuki Minaru versus Nagata Yuji and Chushin Thunderlager from New Japan. Uh, so I'd say this is average at uh, best. You gotta love Nagata's unintentionally funny t-shirts. Uh, <laughs> can't say the match flowed too well, though. Uh, Funaki just seemed to be the odd man out of this one. Uh, I did like the post-match interaction between uh, Nagata and Suzuki, though. Uh, I like their little feud. I think they have uh, one of um, uh, you know, pretty solid match in the year candidate. Four-star match, if you want to go with stars. Previously, you'll notice I haven't been marking scores now, but you'll know by my words if you need to see a match. And this is one of them. World Junior Heavyweight Championship, Minoru, the champion, versus Kondo Shuji. Uh, here's your rating. Holy shit. Uh, just love the opening couple minutes or so. Uh, Minoru did his, his little shtick of moving out of the way and hitting his opponent with a drop kick, followed by his headstand uh, front flip. But as soon as he hit his feet on the front flip, Kondo took out his legs with a drop kick, which is just really cool. He didn't expect it. Um, this match got a whole lot crazy. It went on the counters, and the counters to counters were just amazing. Uh, if the WCW Cruiserweight division were around today, it would have evolved into this. This is like the best junior heavyweight action. Um, yeah, they just don't have the, the, the deep, deep enough talent pool, but it's still pretty good. Anyway, uh, Kondo, he made the half Boston crab like devastating. He's got the best half Boston crab in pro wrestling. Eddie Edwards has a good claim to maybe be in the second best. Um, unfortunately for him, Minoru's Jujikatami, or cross arm breaker, arm bar, is much better even. Uh, it's a great match. Uh, shit, you need to go see it. Minoru versus Kondo. Match of the year candidate. Go see it. Maybe a little bit of selling issues, but I don't think so. It's, it's alright. All right, then we got the World Tag Team Championship match. I know they got two tag team titles. Uh, Kono and Joe During, the champions, versus Tayo Kea and Umari Takao. Uh, Tao and Umari worked, very, worked fairly well together for a new team. Uh, but they were just put together. Uh, Kono and During were much better together. You know, this was a good match. Uh, I don't even know what to give this. Uh, I'll give it something before I uh, before this uploads. I don't know. I guess pretty, 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 pretty good. It's uh, Larry David. Bill Laughter looks like him, by the way. Hope you see this, Bill. All right. Uh, Triple Crown Championship match. Suwama, the champion, versus the challenger. Kenzo? Uh, I don't know what the hell to make this match. Uh, Kenzo's got to be one of the most unorthodox, awkward wrestlers I've ever seen. I don't even think he knows what he's going to do until he's doing it. He's like, oh, crossbody, I guess. It's, just, it's weird. He's got a cool uh, finishing knee uh, strike, but, you know, just just really weird match. I don't like any Kenzo match exceeding 10 minutes. and just, he should never main event again. Uh, Everyone came out and spoke afterwards. I imagine they were speaking on the disasters in Tokyo. But, um, yeah, it's just overall, it's a really great show. Um, I got to do my uh, thing I got from Pro Wrestling TV. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, the good, Sekimoto and Akabayashi versus Sonata and Soyo. That's the great, really. And Minoru versus Kondo, which is also very good. Very exciting. Like an adrenaline shot, but fucking hard. Or the testicles. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> the bad uh, Kenzo. I don't know. I think this is what Paul London meant when he said tripolar. I hope this guy's not actually that fucking weird. Uh, and the ugly uh, Hannah. He's always going to win ugly when it's an all Japan show or he's on the show or if he's even in the crowd watching the show. Dude's fucking ugly. So is his wrestling ability. All right, now we're getting to WrestleMania 27. This was from Atlanta, Georgia. Great wrestling town, which means they should have better wrestling. 
Uh, first match, the opener was very solid. It should have been the Royal Rumble winner against the champion Edge, but it was Edge versus Alberto Del Rio. Um, this is very solid. Uh, just, I didn't exactly cream in that gene, and it was still very solid. So, all right. Then we had Rey Mysterio versus Cody Rhodes. Uh, Retribution. That's what I'll call it. Uh, <laughs> Mysterio and Rhodes are great enemies, like Captain America and Red Skull. Extremely geeky people will get that. It's for you. Alright, yeah, it's a very good match. Uh, I thought it was better than the opener. Um, one of the matches that night, I would say. Alright, then we got an eight man tag Wade Barrett, Justin Gabriel, Heath Slater, and Ezekiel Jackson. Basically, Justin Gabriel and a bunch of jobbers. Yeah, I like Gabriel. The core with two R's, which isn't even a fucking word, against Santino Morella, hilarious. Uh, it was supposed to be Vladimir Kozlov, but it switched to Kofi Kingston. Uh, Big Show and Kane. All I can say is at least it was short. Then we got Randy Orton versus CM Punk. Oh, brilliant. I mean, Punk. Uh, Orton sold good, but Punk totally controlled that match. He showed his ring generalship. I mean, put that man at the top. He's always got to have a major role where he speaks. And you got to let him have long matches because he tells a story, boy. All right, then we got a special referee match or whatever. Michael Cole versus Jerry Lawler. Michael Cole at Jack Swagger with him. Stone Cold was a special guest. Uh, abomination, abortion. Uh, I don't know. I would have rather watched an abdominal stretch that lasted 16 minutes in this match. Uh, Austin should have stunned Swagger in the first two minutes. Lawler should have hit the pile driver the three minute mark, and it should have been over. Instead, this was a slow, painful, torturous death to the paying customers, and even the free streamers didn't deserve this kind of torture. This was TNA bad. Oh, yeah. I think Russo's bad. Anyway, then we got a no holds barred match. This is the match I was looking forward to, obviously. Well, it's just going to be so great. Um, yeah. One thing to note, though, some idiot in the crowd kept yelling, Guillotine leg drop! And he did it for like the first 20 minutes of the match. Which this match should have been uh, about 15 minutes at the pace they went. Uh, yeah, Tripp hits the Spy Muster. He's on the stairs, and Kicker runs out, and he hits the Spy Muster through the Spanish table. Of course, that's going to happen. Uh, the rest of the match is basically a, a spot fest, which is disappointing for this. I was expecting so much. I was telling everyone that this is going to be great. Blah, blah, blah. Long rest periods between all the big moves and just, meh. This match has really stunk up the joint. I had high expectations and I was let down major. I had low expectations. It would have been a decent, I guess. It, it was underwhelming. That's all I'll call it. A lot of people were giving it almost five stars. I don't think anyone gave it five. That's fucking stupid. But four and three quarters, four and a half, four, three and three quarters. Hell, three and a half. Give me credit. All right, then we got a six-person tag. Trish Stratus, John Morrison, and Snooki from the Jersey Shore. I get why she was on the card. Against Lake Cool. Uh, I don't get it. Okay, Michelle's a good wrestler, and Layla is improving. I admitted Michelle's a good wrestler. Okay, they were with Dolph Ziggler, who's a great fucking wrestler. This was decent. Uh, finish was shit, made no sense, and looked weak. Uh, Trish was great. Morrison was good for what he was allowed to show. Cool star she painted the outside. Just, uh, yeah, it was, like I said, decent. Alright, then we get the WWE Championship. The Miz versus John Cena. Here's my rating. Bullshit. So Miz is a champ for taking what he took, but uh, it's the ending. You have your you have your match go longer than that. And you have a little more epic if you're gonna have a shit bullshit screw finish, screwy finish. Uh, yeah, this show is not at the same level as the ROH shows, not in ring or booking wise. I don't give a shit with the lighting or anything. ROH is way better. Even if you're not an ROH fan, watch both of these shows. My brother's not even a fan. He used to be a fan. He thought Triple H was under shit. Everyone thought the, the ending was shit. Just, yeah, I'm sure I'm looking forward to seeing it versus Rock next year, but they could have probably, oh, I don't know, 
set up on Raw, or at least on the match go longer, and not do the outside spot, which was really stupid on like an exposed floor and Miz hitting his head and everything. I could have saw that coming. I wouldn't have done that shit. It's Russo would have. Because he does stupid shit that puts the rest of his life in jeopardy and doesn't think it twice about it. And I wouldn't have done it. Logical people wouldn't have done that. Alright, this rating of oh, C plus. It's not even a B minus. Okay, the good, the Miz's video package, Rhodes vs. Mysterio and CM Punk. The bad, the Snooky uh finished backflip splash thing looked very weak. Uh the main event, ugh, a black mark in WrestleMania history, and Taker vs. Triple H being a bit of a spot test. I guess, I guess the ugly would be uh I don't know. Snooky, can I say Hama? Can I say Hama? He wasn't in it, but Hama's my ugly. Fuck that guy. He's gonna end up killing me one day, but Eh, just dodge one punch and gas himself. Anyway, enough about my personal vendetta against Ranto, Hammer, and Hammer Ranto. This has been on my review. Um, I don't know why I'm saluting. Uh, not a soldier. Uh, no, it's not. Alright, you guys take it easy. Watch All Japan. Watch WrestleMania just so you know I'm not full of shit. Take it easy. Later.